Welcome to Broadway Sandwich. We're hanging out with your favorite Broadway performers to find out what they do on their few short hours, sandwiched between their matinee and evening performances. Join me as we find out what makes up the meat in this Broadway sandwich. This is Circle in the Square Theater, where the Tony-winning revival of Once on this Island is currently playing. Once on this island tells the story of Timoon, a brave girl who falls in love with Daniel, a wealthy boy from the other side of the island. The island gods lead Timoon on a journey to reunite him and to find out whether love transcends death. I think it was just a great immersive experience. Like you were right in the presence yeah. of the uh, energy. Had you ever seen a show at Theater in the Round before? Never. Never. Our guest today is Isaac Cole Powell, who plays Daniel. You are as wild as that wind-blown tree. As dark and as deep as the midnight sea. Isaac! Hi! Hey, bud! Hi. We only have a few short hours before your next show. Yes! Where are we going now? I need to get my hair cut, so we're gonna okay. go to Little Tony's. It's right around the corner. So here we are. Here we are. Little Tony and Igor be good. Cute. Hi. There's a lot of sand in my hair. I'm just warning you. Okay. So you literally just graduated college. The first thing that happened out of college essentially was booking a lead on Broadway. Yeah, basically. I just couldn't believe it. My whole body went hot and numb. You know, I walked around like a zombie for like three days just thinking like, what is the next year of my life gonna look like? And right. What's gonna change and what is this experience gonna be? And how has the reality of this experience matched up with your expectation of what it would be like? Pretty precisely. Really? Yeah, yeah. honestly. As much work as I thought it would be, uh, maybe a little bit more. You know, I always imagined how cool it would be to be part of this Broadway community and it's been even more special than I probably could have imagined. People started talking about awards season, like right. once we were in previews our cast winning a Tony, like that didn't even occur to me. And then that happened, that was extraordinary. It's surreal, it's yeah. really surreal. Yeah. Okay, you are looking good, my friend. Thanks. All right, where are we off to now? I need to feed my squishy babies. What? Follow me. Okay. Here we are at Petland, yes. and we are gonna get squishy baby food. Yeah. What does that mean? So my squishy babies are my tree frogs. Okay. I have two pet tree frogs. Okay. Their names are Reggie and Sophia. Aww. And they're super cute and precious, but they have to eat live bugs. They won't eat anything dead or anything that doesn't move. They need live crickets. So they're raw food enthusiasts. Here you go. Ah, thank you very, thank much. You very much. Thank you. Um, can I get a ginger bowl? So, dish. What? Dish about your boyfriend, Wes. He's the best. Um, so we uh, went to the same school and we met there. So we kept in touch throughout the years and then we both booked our shows right at the same time. And then we started dating. Our shows opened one day apart. And are yeah. both leading men on Broadway. Yeah. How cute is that? Just normal. You and Wes sometimes hang out between shows. So is he gonna come by today? Um, I think so. I think he's coming. Great. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Wes Taylor, the incredible Wes Taylor, who has starred on Broadway in Adam's Family, Rock of Ages, and SpongeBob SquarePants. What do you get up to in between your two shows? Usually if I don't stay active and go to the gym or something, I get really tired from yeah. the second show. Yeah. So yeah. Like, you kind of have to keep your energy up so you can last the whole day. See, people find this unbelievable that after a show and before a second show, you would go and then physically exert yourself. All right, that was satisfying. You guys fulfilled. Uh, we have to get you back to your show. Bye. Have a good show. Thank you. Bye. Isn't he the worst? <laughs> You guys want to come look around inside? I'd love to. Sweet. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Okay. Yeah. I just love this theater so much. Yeah. There's it's not really a bad seat one. in this house. No, because it's so intimate. It's so small already. And even the people who have standing room, when you're standing right here, it's a look really great close. view. And my dressing room's this way. 
so this is my dressing room right. that I share with Alex Newell. You who's and not here Alex right now. Newell, who is brilliant. Yeah. It's a really good size for two people. I've been seeing lots of no dressing more. rooms, and this is pretty good. This yeah. Is a a private you? bathroom in New York City in Times Square. Dun, 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 dun. That's Lux. That's it. And so, can you explain the under sink? Yeah. Uh, so down here, nest area. Yeah. So this is where we nap between shows. So Ladies and gentlemen, nap. the luxury of Broadway. Yeah. Six under the foot, sink. whatever. Isaac Powell, gorgeous, <laughs> sleeping under four <laughs> feet of sink. And then there's like all of this mail. I'm really, really bad. I hope nobody's watching this, looking at that and saying. For the like, fans, if you That's haven't heard from mail. Isaac, he's gonna get to it. I he's promise gonna get back you. To you soon. And then my plants and. My frogs frog. and... Frog dad. Yeah, frog love dad. It. And then I also, I love Frida Kahlo. I get a lot of Frida Kahlo pins, and some people tell me that I look like her too. I can see it. When okay. I was in college, I had, a, I'd grown out my unibrow. Uh-huh. A face. My very sandy boots are down here. Look at this, that's real sand. It's a lot from of sand. the stage, which is essentially an island. Real sand. <laughs> from New Jersey. From New Jersey. Sand. Actual stars of the show, the Dean of the Chicken. Hey, Dina. I actually grew up with chickens because my parents keep chickens for. Really? Yeah, for eggs. I live in Brooklyn and people are starting to do that there too, so. Oh, they get so excited. They have a farm up in Nyack that they, that they live at when they're not here. It's not a bad life. Yeah. It's kind of what I'm looking for. So this is the set. This is it. We are on the island. I'm sure you can feel it under your feet. The sand is uh, probably a couple inches deep, and just below it is a uh, very thin, uh, nude-colored carpet. Dancing on sand is not easy not in easy. general. No. So just having that surface under it uh, is it supports us. Yeah, um, but it is really challenging. I mean, every muscle in in your feet and in your legs is constantly trying to keep you on balance right. while you're also throwing your weight around when you're dancing. So tell us what it's like to, I mean, because literally, the audience is, the audience, their Yeah, feet. their toes are in the sand. So what is that like to perform this close to somebody watching you? Uh, it's super intimate, so yeah. you're really getting a lot of instant feedback from these people because you can see their faces. This whole set is like a playground, but this yeah. is probably my mo the most fun that I have playing around on the set is in the water. I get to enter and exit through it. It's probably maybe mid-thigh on me by the time you get to the bottom. Now, is it cold? Uh, no, it's actually heated. You got your second show. Great, all right, I'll see you, see you soon. Okay, bye. bye.